That was fucking great, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shit Radio's exclusive preview of the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight happening November 15th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. So, on Netflix, gentlemen, we're going to get Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson in a real boxing match. Not an exhibition match like Tyson had against Roy Jones, but a real boxing match. Um, this should be a murder. Uh, you know, Tyson's a lot older. He's 58 years old. Jake Paul is 27 years old. Jake Paul does have the uh, height advantage at 6'1", but the weight's pretty much even at 225 and 224. Um do you guys have any interest in this fight? Do you have? Are you big boxing fans? What are you thinking? I grew up on Mike Tyson. Uh, when I was younger, Mike Tyson was in his prime, and I always looked forward to the Tyson fights, no matter how long or short they were going to be. They were usually on the shorter side. I think, for me at least, I'm very interested in this fight. I'm interested to see what happens. Uh, I think even at the age of 57, Mike Tyson is going to. I think he's going to hurt Jake Paul. Uh, I watched Jake Paul's last fight uh, against that bare knuckle UFC guy, bare knuckle boxer. I, I don't know his name. I'm sorry. Uh, and let me stop Jake you, Paul. Mike Perry. Yeah. Mike Perry was the gentleman's name, and Mike Tyson, sir, is 58 years old. I said 57, right? Okay, so 58 years old. Uh, Mike Tyson is going to hurt Jake Paul. Uh, so like I was saying, I watched Jake Paul's last fight against Perry and it's pretty clear that Jake Paul doesn't really know how to box all that well and he's going up against a man that is is dangerous in the ring and I think even at the advanced age of 58 years old Jake Paul's he might get hurt and he might get hurt bad and I I, I want we're, we're I don't know if I want to see him get hurt but I want to see the fight Oh, I want to see that little bastard get hurt. Listen, the only thing I agree with him is who he votes for. Instead of that, he seems like a little prick. But Jake Paul's never fought anybody. He's, you know, he beat Nate Diaz. Well, Nate Diaz is an MMA fighter, number one. He beat Anderson Silva. Once again, MMA fighter. Tyrone Woodley, MMA fighter. He beat him twice. Ben Askin, MMA fighter. Nate Robinson, I believe that's the basketball player that used to play for the Celtics and, like, a bunch of other NBA teams. And the sure. only time he took on a boxer, he lost against Tommy Fury. Now, Tommy Fury is not, like, a great boxer by any means. He's more of a reality TV show host, or like not host, but a reality TV show personality, and he's the brother of Tyson Fury, you know, who is a really good boxer. But he's, you know, he's not a real, you know, how do I say this, seasoned boxer. He's not a uh, boxer that's really fought a lot of people. I mean, so far, his wins have come against KSI and Jake Paul. <laughs> I mean... You're not seeing the record here. Now, you look at Mike Tyson's record, and people are going to be like, oh, Mike Tyson's a has-been. He's washed up. Well, all right, folks, but let's actually look at his record. Because Mike Tyson, you know, Mike Tyson's record sits at this. 58 fights, 50 wins, 6 losses, 2 no contests. His last fight was against Kevin McBride, where Tyson's was all mentally screwed up in the head, and he just gave up. Now, he fought Danny Williams in 2004. And when he fought Danny Williams, he lost via KO. But a lot of things people don't know about when he fought Danny Williams was that Mike Tyson was fighting with a front. Uh, one of his legs had a uh, torn ligament on the front of his leg, and he could barely throw a punch. Like, he could barely put the force behind the punches. You know, when you have that type of injury, it's going to make a major difference in a fight. Before that, he beat Clifford Ntien, who was a very, very well-known boxer of that time. He lost to Lennox Lewis, who might have been the best boxer of that generation. He beat Brian Nelson. Andrew Gulotta went to a no contest because Andrew Gulotta's a joke and an asshole, and he always, you know, hits people below the belt. He beat Luce Everese. Uh, no one, Ola Norris went to a no contest. Francis Francois both went to a no contest. And the only other three losses he has on his whole record was two to Holyfield and one to the, you know, the one of the great underdog stories of our time, Buster Douglas. Instead of that, Tyson's undefeated. And I don't think people really remember how Tyson was in the early 2000s. He was all on drugs. He was having mental breakdowns. He wasn't in condition. Have you guys seen any of like the training videos, the hype videos on YouTube and on Netflix for Tyson right now? They're, yeah. they're insane. The man's a monster. Even at, at 
at his age. He's a, still a monster. He's, he's incredibly terrifying and very intimidating. Yeah, and he called uh, Jake Paul uh, fat. There's a, there's a video on, on uh, YouTube with Jake Paul uh, just on the couch eating a big bucket of chicken. And Mike Tyson's on, on, on this big screen on YouTube calling him fat. And he's saying, I'm not fat. <laughs> but he's eating loads of chicken. Yeah, I don't like these uh, celebrity um, kind of uh, social media fights, really. Uh, but I'm not really a big boxing fan. I did grow up with those Tyson fights because they were always a, an event, especially the later ones. Like, I remember when, like, Frank Bruno, the British boxer, was the first kind of guy to catch him with a punch. And the commentator uh, in the UK, anyway, said, Go on, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I think Frank lasted a couple of rounds with him or something. That was it. Well, people right now are underselling Tyson because they had to cancel the fight. It was originally supposed to happen in July, but Tyson had an ulcer flare up, so he got sick. And, you know, you're not going to go into a legitimate boxing match with an ulcer flare up. Um, once that ulcer flare up went, you know, bye bye, and he started feeling better, the dude went back to training hard. He went back to working with his trainers they worked with back in the 80s. And some of these guys that are, you know, that worked with him in the eighties say, this is the old iron Mike. This is the iron Mike they haven't seen since the eighties. Like when he came back in the nineties and fought, when he got out of prison, he wasn't that iron Mike anymore. He was a different guy. He didn't put in the time. He didn't put in the effort at the gym. He didn't have, you know, as Apollo Creed would say, the eye of the tiger. He didn't have it anymore. His trainers are now going, this is the real iron Mike Tyson. And Tyson's even saying like, this is the old him. This is the bad him. This is the one that wants to hurt people coming out. And that's something to consider here, folks. I mean, Tyson, I don't care how old you are. That's called grandpa strength. You know, when you get old, but he's still strong, you know how to box, dude. It's not like Tyson's going against Tyson Fury. It's not like he's going against, you know, the cream of the crop right now and, you know, heavyweight boxing. Do you he understand what I'm training saying? on that uh, toad venom. <laughs> toad venom? Yeah. Like he takes a lot of the mushrooms, doesn't he, when he's training? He does. Like, so he's going to be extra worked up about it i don't know to me the whole thing seems like it could be like a setup like they might just it might be a, a draw and then they'll have another fight because it's such a big money spinner that's why i don't like the celebrity boxing matches you know it always seems a little bit fake yeah it I, I, was the other one weather mayweather oh floyd who, mayweather yeah who was he fighting conor, oh god not conor mcgregor it, was it? Or was it the other Logan Paul? No, it was Conor McGregor. It was Conor McGregor, yeah. yeah. That I don't know. That also seems... I don't know if it was real or not. There's always that doubt in your mind. So are you really going to yeah, pay but also, like, all that money? I think it's on If YouTube, you ever watch though. boxing, Floyd Mayweather is not somebody who knocks people out. Floyd Mayweather just, you know, dodges and ducks and wears his opponent out and wins on points. That's always been Floyd Mayweather's yeah. thing. Or he gets him to the point of exhaustion where he can knock him out. He's not, uh, you know, a power hitter. That's just not what he does. Uh, Tyson's had, uh, you know, a few joke exhibition fights. He had the split decision against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, but that wasn't a real boxing match. This is real boxing match. Sanctioned. This is a full 12 rounds. This is sanctioned. It's legitimate. And I just don't see Tyson losing this against a guy that's got no experience. It's not like he's going against Deontay Wilder. He's not going against Tyson Fury. He's going against a freaking YouTube influencer who, you know, <laughs> granted, the guy, would the guy kick my ass? In a boxing match? Oh, yeah, I'm sure, you know, Jake Paul in real life in a boxing match would probably kick my ass. You know, I'm not a boxer, but I'm also but I'm also not Mike Tyson. And if Mike Tyson is in the shape he looks like he's in and he's got the power in his punches, I just think this is going to be a quick fight. I don't think it's going to last many rounds. What are you boys? What's your predictions? Uh, the ferocity I, I, of Tyson is going to last about – it's probably going to be like a 60-second fight. I'd say first round, a couple of minutes, and he's going to – just maul him and get him, hit him with a proper like Tyson thing they used to do back in the day, and it's just going to be over. So you got a first round TKO. Yeah, he's going to kill him in the first round. But he's going to hit him with one of those blockbuster things that he does. A few uh, like three shots, you know, three hits in about ten seconds, and it'll be over. Flyers. I could see it going that way. I don't know if it will. Um, the the rounds are two minutes each. I don't know how many <laughs> rounds. Are are in the fight so but it is a little bit shorter usually they're i believe they're three minutes normally so these are two minutes each uh i could see it i could see it being over really quickly uh, but i'm gonna pick a third round knockout by mike tyson 
I'm going to yeah. go with Wasted on this. I think the animal's going to come out of the cage, and this guy's never felt a true boxer's punch, a real boxer. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to crap on the Fury guy, you know, Tyson Fury, uh, his brother, but I, I, I don't see it. I just don't see this guy being able to eat Mike Tyson's punches. We're, I'm going to go first about, round TKO. We're talking about Mike Tyson here. Like, this is yeah. like Mike Tyson. Probably the, the 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 only boxer that could go toe to toe with Muhammad Ali. I mean, the, the two greatest boxers of all time is probably Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson, and I'm pretty confident in saying that. Oh, you know, I think would have been an interesting fight, but I wanted because I wasn't naming the guy's name. Tommy Fury was the one that uh, Jake Paul beat, but the only fighter that I really would really like to see against Tyson, and I, I guess there's a few. I would have liked to see Evander Holyfield versus Tyson in the '80s. I would have liked to see Lennox Lewis fight Tyson in the 80s before Tyson, you know, was more into the drugs and drinking and not wanting to fight. But the fighter that, you know, everyone says Ali. Do you know who I think would have taken out Tyson back in the day? George Foreman in the 70s. George Foreman. George Foreman. Yeah, big old George. Because that boy threw some, you know, Tyson had the bobbing and weaving. Tyson, you know, hits like like crazy. But, man, if George would have got him into a corner and just started throwing those big old George hands, George Foreman, I think, might have been able to take Tyson. But, you know, obviously I agree with you. It's, you know, for heavyweight fighters, it's Mike Tyson and it's Muhammad Ali. Anyone else is, you know, the next tier below. Yeah. So I take it we're all going to be watching on Netflix? Yeah, well, I'm going to watch on Netflix for sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, it's, I've been looking forward to it. I was pretty disappointed when when the, the postponement came down. But uh, I've, I've. You know, it's marked on my calendar for sure. It's going to be on, and uh, the part of the world I'm in, it's uh, it's it's on at a pretty decent time too. So I'm excited about is that. Is it is it free on Netflix? Yes. yes. Oh right, I might be able to watch it then at a weird time. There's also some NFL games on Netflix. Yeah, they're done now. Oh fuck! <laughs> I miss everything. Well, I think I think the NFL games that were on Netflix were the the Europe. Series, were they well, not? Oh, I could be wrong. Gentlemen, before we get too far off topic here, this is just going to be all about the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight. Uh, audience, you have our predictions. Please leave your predictions below in the comments. Um, let us know who you think is going to win, what round. Uh, tell us if you agree with us or disagree with us. Instead of that, thank you for listening, and liars, take us out. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, this was just a quick show. Um, so to, just to recap, we got Brasky and Wasted both doing a first round knockout for Mike Tyson. I've got Mike Tyson winning in the third round by knockout. So we'll see what happens. And uh, hit like and subscribe, everybody. Thanks for listening. And we'll talk to you soon.